Hello and welcome to Mariposaurus Fusion Food. I am Miss Dini again. Yeah, hello. And um, today you might just see my hands and um, I'm going to be teaching you how to clean and care for raw chicken pieces. Right? So you can use this for uh, pieces or just whole chicken or any other meat actually when I think about it. So I'm going to show you my way. And before anyone says, oh, but you're not supposed to wash chicken, salmonella, hey, hey. No, don't, don't, don't bother with that. There's a lot of people, for whatever reasons, even religious ones, that wash away bloody, gamey, slightly gamey smelling meat, all right? Well, sometimes we don't want that kind of taste in our food. I'm Caribbean, we do this. So come and see what I do. All right, and if in doubt, I'm gonna show you what to do the next step after you finish cleaning meat like this. All right. Now, don't mind the bowl with the stuff in it. That's fine. Now these are roughly four pieces of chicken. Hmm? Uh, four pieces of chicken. See, look. So I've got two legs like this, and one kind of really small thigh. And <laughs> a really big kind of thigh. So these are going to get trimmed as well. So what you do... Look. There's meat in here. Vinegar went in here. So about three squirts of vinegar. Lime and its juice went in here. Yes? One juice of lime. And then what you're going to do... I'm going to bring this up here. You didn't need me a camera, but anyway. Just excuse me a moment, wash my hands in the bleach water. I did. No more whispers in the back there. Quiet down there. Ah, so. What's going to happen now is you. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, there you go. You can see. Everybody can see my hands? Yeah. So what you do is you make a massaging movement. And this helps get rid of the residue that is on the skin. And this helps to loosen up the skin and show you any mucusy looking uh, parts underneath the skin. Those you can peel away with your fingers. Alright? It's, I'd, I'd like you to pay attention to also this part of the chicken. But it's also got another type of membrane and that can just as easily be uh, scrubbed off with your fingers in the same, using the same massaging motion. So hand and rub and rub and rub and to make this uh, solution to wash it it has to be slightly acidic quite acidic actually hence the vinegar and the lime juice all right now what can also happen too sometimes is you end up peeling off the skin not, uh, um, unintentionally I need the skin for a recipe I'm doing after this but whilst you're there if the skin comes off and you want the skin to come off then feel free to pull the skin off and to use sometimes a cloth to help you peel that skin off and it comes off just clean like this Repeat the same motion, pulling off some of the excess fat and any mucus looking things off of the chicken. So sometimes the skin can carry a little bit of residue, quite a bit. And some pieces have hair on them. 
what you do is you scrape away from you scrape forwards be careful you see where my thumb is you put just before your thumb you put the knife and you scrape forwards don't put it right up to your, your thumb because most likely when you're trying to scrape again watch 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 there you go you see look when you make that mistake you get accidents like chopping off your thumb yeah chopping off pieces of your thumb you know, your, your thumbnail or your skin on your thumb make sure it's behind the knife by a good distance away I hope you can see Snot, as I used to kind of call them <laughs> when I was younger. Oh, the amount of things we used to do with the, the little chicken snot. Hmm? Pretend to sneeze and then <laughs> throw it on someone. Yeah. <laughs> and then those were the times when I don't know if most of you can relate being a kid and your mum make the chicken dance. Yeah, my mine does it. I did that yeah, when I was younger. Okay, as you can see, looking a bit cleaner. We're going to give this a rinse or two, yeah? After the vinegar and lime mixture. But just bear with me, yeah? Got two more pieces to wash. Same massaging movement. Last piece now. It can also help too, if you have a piece that feels a little bit more grimy than usual, you use a lime and you rub, turn it inside out, so you have it ordinarily in, like so, and then you push it inside out. So that the flesh part of the lime is upwards and you rub the residue, the rest that's there, the rest of the lime that's there, the flesh that's there and rub it on the meat. Just peel off these snot pieces. <laughs> yeah. We've got a lot of funny stories. You'll hear some of those when I'm cooking some other recipes, hopefully. Okay, get rid of the snot pieces. And now your bird is part way to being clean. So what you do next, or I do next, is scoop as much of the excess skin and fat and snot then, and the lime pieces out of the water and put them into the, the packaging that the bird came from or a secure nappy bag or a carrier bag, small carrier bag. 
This is just so that the pieces don't go down the sink. That can be terrible and then it will just go off in the sink. And then next thing you know your sink is smelling very bad and you wonder why. Scoop as much as you can. And it also helps if you have a sink guard as well, so that when you pour the water off, the pieces do not fall into the sink. So put that away a moment. And now it's time for the second rinse. Okay, water again now, the flame though. Some people go with vinegar and lime again. I don't, because there's a danger that the two using too much acid can actually start to almost cook the actual meat that you're actually trying to clean up. relatively clean. I just need one more rinse and I'm good to go. This is washed chicken. All right, so all you have to do with this now is either pat it off with a kitchen towel or you put it in a strainer to drain. Or you just get the bowl and put them in. And just prepare them ready. matter how many washes you you can give it if it needs it then yes it, you know give it a couple of washes until that gamey smell at least goes all right and make sure to change the water now for those of you worried about the salmonella and the rest of it here is a solution I've got here in this next side of the kitchen sink I have some bleach and soap water. So I'm just putting that cloth and putting some of the water in there in this bowl. It will soak. And I'm going to wipe the surface around in case it needs it. And even if it doesn't, small splashes happen. Please make sure to clean up after yourself. You don't want salmonella around your kitchen. So, I'm going to wash the bowl. Get a bit more bleach water. side of the bowl. Obviously we've been throwing the water from the chicken out of the bowl. So obviously it's on the bottom of the bowl. Just as much bleach and water as you can because at the end of the day we're going to rinse it very well afterwards. Right. Let's 
goes up here. Now for the sink, you give the same treatment to the sink. Now you probably use a bit more bleach for the sink, where you will have to use, not probably, yeah, yeah you will. Take out the guard. So, get some more bleach water and scrub, starting from the sides of the sink. You're going to rinse this with hot water off though. Get some more bleach water and wash off the sink part if you should have one. must suggest you wash and then rinse in hot water. I'm going to show you what to do so you don't burn your fingers after. I'm using cold right now for my hands. Hot water will rinse away the bacteria. So this is why you use hot water. So you rinse and swirl the water around. In the inside of the bowl and the outside. And you catch some in the bowl. To clean the sides. If you have one of those uh, sinks or taps, should I say, or faucets, if you're American, what you mean, then you, if you have one of those particular taps or faucets which have a hose, and by all means use the hose to rinse, but my kitchen's rather basic, so this is how I clean my sink. Put the stopper back. And there you have it. So this is how to clean chicken, and this is also how to look after your sink afterwards. I suggest also as well some, to put your um, your cloths into a strong bleach solution to rid of any germs and in hot water, leave it to soak as well please, yeah, and make sure before you soak it get rid of all the meat debris that's on it and if it's one of those that's a bit too gory then, then I suggest you change the cloth completely that can't use again because you're going to have too many meat germs on it so I hope this has been clear and concise for you and I hope that you will actually try this method or at least learn to look after your sink after you've been doing any food that has any dirt or microbes or germs or bacteria then and um, yeah see you soon so see ya Bye.